This next one is a very popular practice part. Come up here to the upper left, select New, and we want metric this time. Use standard millimeters. Create 2D sketch. Select the XY plane. Straighten it around by clicking on the front of the view cube. Grab a two-point rectangle. Click, bring it down here, and click again. Grab the dimension tool. Type in 60 and hit the Enter key. Plunk it down. Type in 30, Enter. To center the rectangle on the page, select the center red dot and the bottom edge. Half of 30 is 15. Hit enter. Center it going the other direction. Type in 30 and hit enter. So now the rectangle is perfectly centered on the page. We need a radius on this end. Let's go back and look at the part to refresh our memory. We need a radius at this end of the object. We need a couple bevels down at this end. We need a hole. So let's go ahead and create those now. You need the arc tool, three point arc. Click, click, and drag it out here until it hits the tangent point right there, and then click. Hit the escape key at this point to take your pencil off the paper. We need to get rid of this line. We don't need it anymore. Just click once on it and hit the delete key. We need a circle right there. So grab the circle center point tool. Click on the center point. Just estimate the size of the circle at this point. Hit the escape key to lift your pencil. To put the bevels or chamfers at this end of the object, use the fillet tool, chamfer. And those chamfers, if I remember right, are nine millimeters. The way you use this tool is just simply select adjacent sides, click there, come down here, click there, and it draws the bevels or chamfers automatically, 45 degree chamfers. So hit OK. Now let's dimension this circle. So grab the dimension tool. That circle had a diameter of 15 millimeters. We're done with that portion of the sketch, so click on Finish Sketch. Now we need to extrude the part, so grab the Extrude tool. We're going to add depth to the part. Select that plane. The part is 30 millimeters thick at the thickest point. 
enter 30. Come over to the view cube and select the top edge of the view cube right there and pull down on it so we can see exactly what it's doing. So it's adding material, it's adding depth to the part coming towards me basically out of the page 30 millimeters and that's what I want. My options are to go in 30 millimeters or to, to split it 50-50. In this case I just want it all coming out towards me. Click OK. To bring it around again you can just click the front part of the view cube like that. Let's take a look at the drawing again. We have the basic shape of the object right now. The thickness at the thickest part is 30 millimeters, but we need to remove material on this end and leave this rib or, or gusset coming down there. Minimize that. Grab the Create 2D Sketch. Again, select that plane to sketch on. Let's draw a line to define the edge right there. We want that line 18 millimeters from the center of the hole. And then I want to center this on the part 3.5 millimeters there. Select Finish Sketch, go back to Extrude, and we're going to use the Extrude command to cut material away from the object this time. Pull it down so we can see what's going on. Right now it's trying to add an additional 30 millimeters of material to the object and we don't want to do that. We want to cut away material. So make it extrude into the page in other words. The second thing is we don't want to cut away 30 millimeters of material. That would be the whole depth of the object. We want to cut away 21 millimeters which would leave a 9 millimeter thickness right here which is what we want. So either hit enter or click this green check over there. We're close to being done. Right now we need to remove material from this rib across there so Go to Create 2D Sketch again. Select that plane right there. Get the Line Tool and draw a line from corner to corner. Finish Sketch. And now we can remove that portion of material right there by using the Extrude Tool again. Select that triangle. Rotate the object down. Try to grab the top edge of the view cube. Rotate it down. It's going the wrong direction. We want to remove material. We don't want to add material. And we don't need to mill or machine away 21 
millimeters of material. So select all and it will just remove the material that was there. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to click OK. And that's the final object. Looks pretty good. Come up here to view. I'm going to add some edges to it just to define it a little bit better. Come up here again. This time select new drawing. So we'll make a drawing of the object with three ortho views and an isometric view. Select base come down I don't like the orientation I want sort of that view right there to be the base view and it's too small so I'm going to up the scale to 2 to 1 that looks good and it's reminding me I never saved the original object. Let's just call it fixture block 5 for lack of a better term. Type escape to get rid of that for, for a minute because I want to pull the base view down to the corner and make sure it's scaled correctly and it is so click on projected and we'll make the projected views the orthographic views and the isometric view when I click on the isometric right click it select create so there's my four views I want to make the isometric a little bit bigger in scale. So I'm going to right click and select edit view and select a little bit bigger scale. Okay, that looks pretty good. At this point you can fine tune things. Plop down the views where you want them to dimension the drawing come up here to annotate you can retrieve some of the dimensions that you entered earlier by using the retrieve tool I'm gonna to just do it manually using the dimension tool so I clicked on dimension before you start laying down dimensions make sure you're working in the right units and this drawing was metric in, in millimeters and now you can just start dimensioning your views. So this is more or less the finished drawing. At this point, uh, most of the dimensions are on here, and you can fine-tune it and uh, change the font sizes. Also, don't forget to add your name and the title down in the title block in the lower right corner using the uh, text tool.